All right, this is third grade, module six, lesson two. And in this lesson, students are going to be taking the horizontal tape diagrams that they're already familiar with. And they're going to be relating those tape diagrams with vertical tape diagrams. Essentially, down the road, instead of calling them vertical tape diagrams, we're simply going to be calling them bar graphs. So let's get started on this. I'm getting a little creative in terms of trying to fit everything onto one screen, but we're starting right here. It says Addie surveys third graders to find out their favorite fruits and their results are shown below. So we see that eight students liked bananas, 16 liked apples, 12 liked strawberries, and four liked peaches. And so then over here, you can see we want to draw units of two to complete the tape diagram. So that means each box, each unit, is going to represent two students. So we had eight students who liked bananas, so we've got two, four, six, eight. All right, so we have 16 students who liked apples, so what we need to do is we need to represent, here's a two, and how many of these twos do we need? Well. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. And so it's okay if I stretch, stretch into that uh, graph, it's per, uh, the table. It's perfectly fine. So there we go. There's the, the apples. And then we see that 12 students liked strawberry. So we're going to represent strawberry. So that's going to be, here's a two, and then four, six, eight, ten, twelve students like strawberries. And then lastly, we have four students who liked peaches. Actually, I love peaches. So anyway, uh, we're going to draw those four students. So that's going to be two and four. There you go. Now the idea is, how are we going to relate these horizontal tape diagrams to what a, a vertical tape diagram would look like? And now first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of add in the banana right here. All right. And so what we can see is right here, um, all of these represent what's eventually going to be the um, vertical tape diagram. So if we wanted to, we could rotate this guy to be peach. There's peach. And then we can rotate this guy to be strawberry. And then we can rotate this guy to be apple. And then we can rotate this guy to be banana. And there we have our vertical uh, tape diagram. So the idea is once you've got them horizontal, you can just stack them up like this. And now you've got your vertical. And of course, parents and teachers, we would start to call this a bar graph. So again, this is more of the same. I mean, we have the same table right here with students who liked bananas, apples, strawberries, or peaches as their favorite fruit. And then over here is essentially what I just showed on that previous screen. So here's our bananas. Now, what is our apples going to look like? Well, we need to go up to 16. So that's going to be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. And am I perfect? Absolutely not. And that's perfectly okay, parents and teachers. In fact, we really want to show our students that things don't have to be absolutely perfect. We don't want to paralyze our students for, with fear of having to be perfect. All right, so strawberry. We know we need 12 students, so that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So there is our 12 students who liked strawberry. And then lastly, we have peach, which is 4 students. 1, 2, 3, 4. And that is how it would look as a vertical 
tape diagram with the units being two. Now here, it's the exact same problem, only now the units are four. So when you have eight students with banana, that's going to be four plus four is banana. Four plus four is eight, which is the bananas. Now we have 16 students who liked apples. So that's going to be four, eight, 12, 16. So there's our apples. And then strawberries is going to be 4, 8, 12. So there's our strawberries. And then peaches, lowly peaches, 4, done. There you go. Now, so how do these, how do these relate? Well, this used to have four individual units. Now it only has two, and that's because our unit sizes are larger. Because each unit represents more students, we need fewer units to represent the students. So once you're there, you, you, can, have, you can be able to start answering all of these different kinds of questions here. And, you know, what, what is a good title? Oh, favorite fruit. Compare the number of units used, well, the number of units got lowered because the unit size themselves got bigger. Write a multiplication sentence to show the total number of votes for strawberries in the vertical tape diagram. So if we want to represent the strawberries as a multiplication problem, here's our, our graph from the previous slide, and you can see that we've got a bunch of twos. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. So what is our sentence going to be? Well, it's going to be six times two, as in six groups of two, or we could say two times six, and in both cases, the answer is 12. For F, Write a multiplication number sentence to show the total number of strawberries. Wait, wait, what did I just do? Write a multiplication. Oh, for problem B. Well, in problem B, we had uh, the strawberries look like this. It went 4, 4, and 4 as our strawberries, all right? So what would... Our multiplication sentence be for that, it would be either 3 times 4, which is 12 students, or we can say 4 times 3, which is still 12 students. So both of those, either of those, would work. And that wraps up 3rd grade, Module 6, Lesson 2, connecting the horizontal tape diagrams with the vertical tape diagrams. Ultimately, we're going to be calling those bar graphs.